Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is 1 Corinthians 15 verses 20 to 28. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who came have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in his own turn, Christ, the first fruits then. When he comes, those who belong to him, then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom of God to far the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For he has put everything under his feet. Now when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that that does not include God himself, who put everything under Christ. When he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him, so that God may be all in all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But Christ has been indeed raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. His resurrection secures our resurrection in spiritual life today and in bodily res resurrection tomorrow. Christ's victory is shared with his people who are united with him. First fruit offerings helps us to remember what God has done for us, increase our gratitude and bless the rest of our harvest. Our faith has so much value to God. Jesus wasn't the first person to be raised from the dead, but the first person who God has raised and has never died again. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. The final enemy Christ will defeat is death itself. It began with his own resurrection from the grave. When he has done this, then the Son of Man himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him so that God may be all in all. This is where God's authority is exercised. Death has a de delegated authority over sinners. But when death has been destroyed, it will have no power to control us any longer. God puts everything under him. After everything has been put under the sun, then he will put himself under God, who puts all things under him. Paul teaches us in Corinthians, the power of God's grace, following the will of God on the resurrection and eventually the resurrection of Christ, which has a purpose that will eventually benefit all mankind. Our faith has by all God's grace, which gives us a value in God's lives, our lives with God. The Son comes to do the will of the Father. The Holy Spirit comes not to draw attention to himself, but to glorify the Son. And now for a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us your Son. We rejoice in the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the hope and new life that he brings into our daily lives. May we live in the light of his victory over death. Amen.